Hey YouTube, it's Jet Mouth here. I am doing a second, basically part video to the Yu-Gi-Oh card opening um, because like I said in my last one, I went to Walmart. There were no Pokemon packs. I ended up buying two Yu-Gi-Oh ones um, because I watched the anime when I was little. I have no idea if they're good or not, but this is the Yu-Gi-Oh Maximum Gold. So, if I can figure out how to open it. There we go. It's been sitting in my closet for months because I bought it and then forgot about it because Yu-Gi-Oh is not really my thing. I collect Pokemon cards, but when you can't find Pokemon cards, you will substitute with whatever you can get, which includes Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. Of course, tape. Um, I have some picture around here. I can use it. I have keys. Why did they hate me? Ooh, it's very shiny. Very sturdy there. So, they're living up to the gold theme. And like that, that's it. It's four packs. Okay, these had better be some really awesome packs. Um, oh, first edition. Okay. Uh, and if anyone ever watched my last video, you know I know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the gameplay, nothing. This was solely an impulse buy because Seto Kaiba is my friend. He's like my spirit animal. Hmm. Wow. That's interesting. Oh, he makes me think of the Dark Magician. You can go over there. Oh, wow. That is really cool artwork with the flaming blades. You can also go by him. I'm starting to see why it said gold, because those are gold cards. That's a creepy puppet card. We don't like creepy puppets. Like dolls, marionettes, like all of those things scare me. So that mind control card is terrifying. Aww, Flame Buffalo, who looks like a weird animatronic flaming bull. Hmm. I feel like if your name is Traptrix, then you should not have anyone going near you. That's cool. Yes, that is a gold card. We will put it with the other gold cards. The Prime Monarch, which you don't actually see anything. That's kind of a disappointment. Like, not just the art there. It's like, oh, you're a Prime Monarch, but it's like Wizard of Oz looking through the mess. You don't actually get to see the monarch. Is it a monarch butterfly? Again, trap tricks. Not, not inspiring a lot of confidence in the name. Oh, that is a cool dragon card. Okay, last pack. Hopefully I'm not offending anyone with my complete and utter lack of Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge. It has been many, many years since I watched Yu-Gi-Oh, but fond memories. And there's another one of these foolish burial cards. I feel like death is a theme for this. Because, I mean, we have Ghost Bell, we've got Called from the Grave. Like, I'm feeling my mortality now, but ooh, those are cool wolves. Transco Talker, Bow of the Goddess. Okay, so which one is my favorite? I think 
think the Cyber Dragon Infinity. Although, this Alistair, the Invoker, I kind of like him too because he reminds me of Dark Magician and Dark Magician's Girl from the anime. Oh, it's a little bent up there. He's a little defect. That makes me sad. It's still a really cool card, but that does make me sad to see that defect. I don't know. Yeah, you can totally see it there. But I had fun. I hope you did too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.